Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing good and staying safe. This is Thomas from Burgundy. Um, it's my second video on Burgundy wines. If you haven't seen the first one, feel free to check it out. I hope you will find it uh, find it interesting. I've been living here in Burgundy for now 12 years and uh, working in the wine industry for just as long. So here's the deal. A few weeks back, a good friend of mine, Gabrielle, who runs a, um, it's a private wine club, it's called La Cave Privé, uh, dropped a couple of bottles. That was just right before the uh, home confinement thing started out here in France. And he asked me to come up with a couple of videos on his wines, which is only a fair price to pay. Uh, considering he has access to some remarkable wines and so we're gonna go for another one so we have here today for ourselves a white burgundy so it says here Bourgogne so that'll give you a couple of clues as to what it is first of all it's a Chardonnay why that well simple reason Burgundy, as I mentioned in my previous video, boils down to two varietals. Pinot Noir for the red wines, Chardonnay for the white wines. You will notice though, it doesn't mention Chardonnay on the label. You'll just have to take my word on that. Um, well, the French are just quite arrogant in that. They just expect you to know that. If it's white, it's bound to be a Chardonnay. Now, in that particular case, it says here in the label Bourgogne, which is French for Burgundy implying that this would be one of the regional ranking wines. So let me just clarify that rapidly. Burgundy has that internal classification system that comes in four levels. Top of the notch would be Grand Cruz. I will be conducting another video on that. Um, and then below that you have Premier, as in first crew. Then you have the village ranking wines, and then you have the regional ranking wines. That's one of them. Bourgogne. So that's a white wine, e.g. again, Chardonnay from Burgundy. Now, it says here, Clos du Chateau. So what does that mean? Uh, Clos, C-L-O-S. Um, you've probably seen that word somewhere on labels before. I mean, comes from Latin claustro. So it, that would imply that the grapes using the making of that particular wine, they all come from a single plot that is surrounded by a wall. That's a clos, a clos, clos. So clos du chateau, it is the plot that surrounds the chateau of that particular wine. Chateaus are not, let's be honest, chateaus are not a burgundy thing. They're mostly a Bordeaux uh, type of a uh, referential. Uh, Burgundy, though, has, I would say, half a dozen chateaus. Um, that one is Chateau, uh, Ch um, Chateau de Merceau, or as you might see that, Merceau, or as they would pronounce it in Texas, Mursault. It's, 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 it's pretty much in the southern part of Burgundy. Um, it's one of the nicest chateaus that we have here in Burgundy. Uh, that being said, that is a Burgundy regional wine, uh, more of a, you would expect, generally speaking, Burgundy sort of regional wines to be a barbecue type of a wine. So let's give it a shot. Oops. Let me just open that as we go. Pow. I just hope you guys are opening up a bottle as we go. Uh, now, that here is a 2018. That's a recent vintage. Um, 2018 was a rather flamboyant and, and flattering vintage. It, it was pretty warm overall. So we get, I mean, we did get pretty high levels of, this, of sugars. Acidities were, comparatively speaking, relatively low. So they tend to be, relatively speaking, again, flattering wines. Um, let's give it a shot. Hold on. So there you have it. I don't know if you, uh, 
the camera will capture all of that, but it's a relatively clear wine. Um, now, the nose is just all about flowers. It's, it's all about white fruits. Quite expressive, just in the first nose. Then you just give it a twirl, let it breathe a little bit, just open up, and then you just go for it. Mm. Again, just so that everyone knows that, I would normally be spitting that out, but I'm not, because I'm not, again, driving anywhere, considering we're stuck at home. Uh, wow. Um, again, bearing in mind that is a, uh, it's a regional wine. So it's one of the uh, entry-level burgundy type of wines. It's still a vivid, um, fresh expression of Burgundy. Uh, by no means is that a, a sort of a noki type of Chardonnay that some of you might be familiar with. It's it's more of a um, um, flattering, elegant expression of that particular varietal. Um, I am on the nose, again, um, getting those white flowers, oh, my son is coming in, hi William, um, it's, it's, um, no, there's a bite to it that I find quite surprising considering the vintage, because it was such a warm vintage, uh, but nonetheless, it sort of achieves an interesting balance between that high sugar content, e.g. because again, remember, sugar is but potential alcohol. That's what it is. Um, the acidities nonetheless are here. I am sort of guessing they probably harvested that relatively early during the harvesting season, which results in a, oh, Jesus, I got those fruit bugs everywhere. Um, results in a, a super interesting balance. Uh, by all means, I would be having that over a, um, a barbecue. It's sort of a, a by the pool type of a Chardonnay from Burgundy. Um, so again, just mark my words. Bourgogne, you just go simple rules. You go for the bigger casing, the uh, bigger letters. That'll tell you the appellation. So if it says Bourgogne, you're into the uh, sort of entry-level Burgundy wines, okay? Uh, if there's a second line that gives you more specifics, that would imply that it's a single plot. It's not a blend of different plots, it's a single vineyard type of wine. Um, so that here is from a pretty prestigious plot, A, because it's a clo, because it's surrounded by those old medieval walls, and B, because it is the plot of that particular producer. So it's their in-house white wine. Uh, sort of a, you, you, you may want to call that generic, uh, but it's still nonetheless a very flattering expression of it. Um, 2018, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of holding on to most of my 2018s because they're, okay, they haven't yet given the full potential uh, uh, when it comes to sort of uh, taste, flavors, smells, overall expression of it. Uh, but right now, they're tasting extremely good. Um, give it a shot. I mean, I would, personally speaking, I would possibly be holding on to that for another, maybe just another six months or a year, because that is by no means a wine that is intended to be aged for years on. Um, it's it's an enjoyable, uh, on-the-spot, barbecue-like, and I'm saying that in the most flattering way possible, um, type of a white burgundy. Um, I'm, I'm really getting a kick out of that. I'm probably going to put that in the fridge uh, for just an hour and and have that over... Um, have that over a, a goat cheese uh, for my uh, starters. Um, anyway, so that's uh, what you get. Um, 
give it a shot. I mean, you should not look down on on the uh, lower level uh, classification of Burgundy, the regional classification wines, because they do have some some um, remarkable wines in in the sense of their uh, uniqueness and their elegance. Uh, Burgundy wines, overall, let's be honest, Burgundy wines tend to be on the expensive side. Um, and I, I'm cheap, I'm cheap, um, but uh, nonetheless, they are, they're all about balance, they're all about elegance, they're all about complexity, and even the regional ranking wines such as Bourgogne that you have here, um, can be extremely enjoyable, and those, by Burgundy standards, tend to be on the affordable side. So anyway, um, give it a shot, just um, don't stick to just your regular two buck chuck Chardonnay that you may find uh, you may find out there. Uh, look into Burgundy wines; they are amongst the most flattering and elegant wines, and possibly complex. I'll give you that complex wines you can find out there. Uh, but that's my saying: once you go Burgundy, you don't go back. There are some of the best wines ever. Um, anyway, just uh, look into your wines, drink responsibly or not. This is again a uh, rather uh, peculiar period of time and uh, we're all staying safe at home. I hope you are. All the best for you guys. Cheers. Stay strong and healthy. All the best guys. Cheers to Burgundy. And so that's the end of the video, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just as a side note, our wines are still available for home delivery if you're interested. So just click on the link in the description. And finally, for any suggestions or comments or any thoughts, uh, make sure to drop us a comment down below. We would love to uh, chat further with you guys. And last but not least, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon for regular updates. Talk soon, guys.